everyone, Andy here, and today I'm checking out the brand new Alexa SXT. Uh, this is the evolution of the Alexa family, the latest evolution. Uh, Alexa came out in 2010, quickly became extremely popular. Uh, the XT followed up that, and now the SXT. So the SXT takes all the features of the previous versions and crams it inside and has a lot more horsepower, a lot more functionality on top. Uh, so let's just go over the camera really quick and talk about the differences and what's been added between in, the, in this uh, system. So uh, first you'll see physically it's very much an Alexa, it looks very similar. Um, you'll notice uh, this is the Plus version of the camera. Uh, the Plus uh, has the motor control system built in. There is a studio version as well and there's an EV which doesn't have the motor controls added. So three versions of the SXT like previous Alexas. Uh, on the side here though you will see there is a slightly larger uh, mag or our card reader slot system here. Uh, this will accommodate some new uh, SXT media mags uh, which, uh, which will allow for higher frame rates etc for the future. It still does work with various adapters to work with the previous codex mags found in the XT. You can also get adapters for the um, CFast cards as well as S by S cards. So a lot of flexibility and recording options. You can see the nice door system. I have, a, I have the original yellow lined uh, codex mag inside there. Uh, the, new, uh, the new media comes in one and two terabyte sizes, so they're bigger uh, with blue and red stripes. So um, uh, more flexibility on terms of recording. We'll go into that a little bit later. Um, the, uh, the camera also has uh, an improved image quality performance. Uh, it's a nice update overall in sort of how it's being processed so you get better image quality. And in the menus here, there is a new um, option under imaging called noise reduction. Uh, I can turn that on inside there and if I, record, if I record ProRes, let's say at a higher ISO, it will reduce the noise in the image overall, which is a nice change. Of course, you can do that in post if you're recording in RAW, um, but that's a nice addition. Uh, overall on image quality, uh, a nice change. Um, of course, I'm big into looks and LUTs and stuff, so the big thing for me that's been added is the addition of uh, the uh, same 3D LUT uh, format that you would find um, in the Amira and Alexa Mini. So uh, the previous Alexa flavors had basically a CDL sort of style adjustment. Now we have a full uh, airy look uh, import options in the camera allowing 3D LUTs to be loaded in or actually sent in uh, live by a live grading tool. So if I go in the color menu here I can see on the look file selection I have the ability to select from various ones already loaded in here including uh, DCI-P3, ARRI 2020, and the classic Alexa look. Uh, these are 3D LUTs that are loaded in. I can add my own in via an SD card, of course. Uh, and if I plug in Ethernet here, I can use Pomfret's Live Grade or um, Colorfront or other or Codex Live to log in here and actually live adjust it on the fly. Uh, load, those load those files in. And the great thing about that, as opposed to using an external LUT box, is that those looks are baked into the recording on, in the camera right away. This is a big deal uh, because if I do that, uh, those look files live with the file, either RAW or ProRes, uh, and then uh, tools like Resolve and Colorfront and others uh, as well, will be able to lo load that metadata right from the RAW data and apply it. So basically I get a look right away from my RAW data, and it also works in ProRes. It'll bake it into ProRes, Final Cut, Avid, Premiere, They'll pull that, that metadata out of the ARRI ProRes file and, again, apply it right away for me. So I can do really quick dailies right from the original camera recording, no recombining of what files from the outside. I really like this new option. You just plug in here and off you go. So uh, this is a great update to me. I really like it. Big deal. Um, additionally, if you look into the um, uh, EVI, uh, EVF uh, monitoring options, you'll see now I have four separate outputs, right? So on set, you may sometimes want to have your viewfinder and the monitor see different uh, things. You might want 709 in the viewfinder and log on the monitor. Well, before that was kind of limited to just two. Now we have four separate outputs allowing me to send monitor two and three completely separate looks overall, which is uh, pretty fantastic. And I can really uh, address everyone's needs. The AC can have 709, but I can have logs sent out to the DIT. So lots of flexibility there. Um, also, uh, if I happen to have on this monitor out color space, if I happen to have a 
Rec 2020 monitor on set, I can actually send a Rec 2020 out to a monitor on set that may support that to some extent, right? So that's there. Uh, and then last is not to forget in terms of a look file option, uh, you can output HDR to the camera. The, the Lex has been HDR for since it's come out, but um, if you have an HDR monitor on set, now you can get a look file from Airy uh, that will give you a HDR output, send it to your HDR monitor, and HDR out is possible with the new system. That's really enabled by the 3D LUT capability of the system. Um, overall, uh, just a side note on those LUTs is that you, you send it through the Airy color tool, uh, and this is the same tool that you find for Amira and Mini. Uh, make the files, load them in, super simple, or again, use live grades. So uh, big news there in terms of 3D LUT capability, of, of color management options that are, t of t the new, new color management options, and all those new outputs. Just tons of flexibility uh, in there. Another great uh, thing that they've added into the SXT is the um, ability to uh, change uh, frame rates without rebooting. So before on the previous versions, when you went above a certain frame rate, you had to change modes to get into the high speed. Now they have a, what they call a single frame rate mode, meaning you just go into the frame rates here and just crank all the way up. I'm in the open, open gate right now, so I can go up to 72, but if I was in ProRes HD or in the different HD formats, I could just crank all the way to 120 without any limitations. So uh, this is a nice add-on as well. Uh, also, what the horsepower of the system is giving us now, that the horsepower in here, that Alexa 65 horsepower they've added, uh, gives us the ability to do record in even more formats, right? So that's a plus, of course, now with the Codex mags, that helps a lot as well, uh, these new big mags. Uh, if I go into my menu here, and I go into uh, my uh, project, I can choose uh, between more and more formats. I'm set to open gate right now, which was available on the um, XT. Uh, open gate gives me uh, 3.4K, basically the entire sensor area recorded. I have that here as well uh, at, a, at a much even higher frame rate. Now I have 4, 3, 6, 5, and 16 by 9 modes. Uh, 4, 3 is the full height of the sensor. I can now use this mode for 4, 3 raw recording as well as uh, I can record a full 4K cine mode out of here, essentially taking a 4096 area or sampling up to 4096. Uh, so 4K cine is an option now in, uh, in ProRes if I want that, right in the camera. 6.5 is a little, sounds a little different, but basically it's the 4.3 crop mode uh, that we used for anamorphic before. So it, it has the right image area for a proper anamorphic cut of the sensor. Uh, nice thing about this is that they've also, beyond just recording uh, the 2, 6K RAW, um, you can also record either 2K anamorphic ProRes or 4K anamorphic ProRes. Uh, I mean, essentially, it'll take that, that recorded RAW area, that area of the sensor that's recording, and scale it and de-squeeze it into a ProRes format. So it makes it very easy to get the recording format that you want right out of the camera really designing to just speed up your workflows. Uh, and then of course 16 by 9 mode is traditional HD recording or in uh, UHD. So uh, lots of format options here. Uh, each now has raw recording options. Basically they've expanded out that list of recordings to just as m much as possible. Uh, they also push the frame rates even higher uh, in UHD. Uh, in uh, HD we have 120 in ProRes. Uh, we have a uh, a 3.2K raw and up to 120 uh, also, and then just so many more frame rate options out there. This is just a giant chart that we'll include in here as well. So look through that chart, see if the recording formats you want are there. They probably are. Uh, so just lots of uh, new recording formats. That 65 cent uh, processing power they put inside here, this is that same board you find in the 65, uh, give us beyond, give us all the features we have here today. But beyond that, they have, a, they have more horsepower to spare, so we can expect ARRI to update new updates, giving, pushing things further. The mags can take even more data. So it's an open architecture for the future. So uh, those are the big changes in my mind. Uh, the XT, SXT, again, is the sort of flagship Alexa camera. Uh, everything we know with the Alexa in terms of image and look and build and simplicity still here, of course, and just pushing beyond. So, uh, SXT uh, is an upgrade from an XT camera. If you have one, you can't upgrade. Uh, of course, just available also separately as uh, just a standalone camera. So um, upgrades are starting now, uh, which is exciting. And uh, yeah, so uh, stay tuned for more from us about the SXT and what it can offer. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.